Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video on the View into Hux World. And today we got a video comparison between the Galaxy Watch Active, the Gear Sport, and also the Galaxy Watch Rose Gold. Okay, you all, let's get started. Before we do, let's talk about the similarities between all three smartwatches. First of all, you're gonna get five ATM, which means that you can go swimming in salt water, sea water, in your swimming pool, up to 50 meters, and you're gonna be cool with this smartwatch or these smartwatches being on your wrist. Next, you're gonna have IP68, which is gonna be rated water and dust resistant. You're gonna get a Super AMOLED display at a resolution of 360 by 360. You're gonna get Samsung Pay, but you will not get the magnetic strip technology. You're gonna get NFC, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and heart rate sensor. Also, you're gonna have four gigabytes of memory for downloading applications and your music. Also, you're gonna be able to pair this up with Android 5.0 or higher, and also with the iPhone 9.0 or higher. And with that, now, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with the Galaxy Watch. Listen, first of all, people, I like the design. There are a lot of people who like this design also. I like that Samsung with a different route than what they have been going with for the last past few years. This one doesn't have a rotating bezel. So simply you're gonna be able to just swipe to get to your applications or navigate through your watch, which isn't a bad deal. Just simply wipe it off and you're gonna be cool. Also, for those of you all who are gonna be working out, this is gonna be the perfect smartwatch. I've wore this from day to day. I've lost it on my wrist many of times, which means that it's gonna be cool for when you're exercising, you're not gonna feel this moving around. It's gonna blend right into your person. You're gonna be good with this one. Now, it comes in at 25 grams, which is a lot lighter half lighter than that of the Galaxy Watch and also the Gear Sport. But the display, everything is gonna look beautiful. I do like the sleek design. I do like the buttons. It's rounded off. It's not a bad look, right? Now, you do have a huge bezel on this one, but because I got the black, it kind of blends in really, really nicely with this particular watch. Now, it's gonna come in four colors. You're gonna get black, silver, rose gold, and green, and that green really, really looks good to me. I like the band on here as well. It's very light, feels very good for working out. You're gonna get quick release pans with this one. This one is a nice choice for those of you all, again, who are gonna be exercising and who has a small wrist. Now, the battery life. The battery life on this one isn't as great as the two that we're gonna be reviewing, but the battery comes in at 230 milliamp hour battery, which is very low for this watch, but let's consider the size. And I'm doing a video real soon on the battery life on the Galaxy Watch Active, so look out for that. But all in all, I think this is a great smartwatch to have. No, it does not have a rotating bezel, but it still looks good. All right, let's take a look at the Gear Sport. Now the Gear Sport is nice. When it came out, I really, really like this blue. It really looks good. I like the buttons on here a little bit better than that on the Galaxy Watch Active, quick release pans, but you got a little bit of weight to this one. This one is coming in at, of course, 50 grams. So this one is gonna be a lot heavier and a lot bigger than the Galaxy Watch Active. So again, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something for every day, then this one is gonna be the one for you. But the battery life, if you're looking for great battery life to get more days, more time out of your smartwatch, this one is gonna be it compared to the Galaxy Watch Active. It's coming in at 300 milliamp hour, which is beautiful. You got a navigation, a rotating bezel that you can use. So if you don't wanna touch the display, you don't have to just rotate the bezel to where you wanna go and you're good. But it's gonna be a difference between the UI a little bit because this one, the Galaxy Watch is running one UI and the Gear Sport isn't. But the Gear Sport, I like the look still a little bit better than that that's on the one UI on the Galaxy Watch Active. That's just me. Uh, again, it depends on your preference and what you're looking for. Again, this one comes in black and blue. This blue looks beautiful in person. This band, very sporty and also lightweight. Now, my personal favorite is gonna be the Galaxy Rose Gold smartwatch. It looks good in person. Now, this one comes in a midnight black as well. The weight of this one is 49 grams, which is tad shy from that of, of course, the Gear Sport. Right? They look similar, but I want to go back to this really quick, is that they squared it off. I really didn't care for it. My wife didn't mind it. She liked it, but I didn't care for that. I care for a more traditional look, 
uh, just round it off. Just round it off. Let's just keep it simple. So it's still not a bad deal, but I like this look a lot better. It looks traditional. Now this one here, again, it has a rotating bezel. Uh, you got Tyson Ford Auto running on this one, Tyson Ford Auto running on that one. So you're going to get um, a good software update with this one. It's going to be up to date and definitely this rose gold looks good. You get everything that you're going to get on the gear sport. Uh, the rotating bezel, again, the design language on this one is a lot better. Uh, the weight of it is going to feel similar to that one. Uh, the battery life on this one is 270, but for whatever reason, you're getting awesome battery life out of this one. You can get up to five days off of this one. I did the battery test on this one. I will leave the link in the description for that as well if you want to go ahead and check that out. But the battery is phenomenal depending on how you tweak your settings. All right, do you have the always on display on or do you have it off? All right, and with that, listen, I think this is a good choice to have. Now, I'm gonna say if you're going out and you wanna look good, the Galaxy Watch is going to be a watch that you want to put on your wrist on any given Sunday. This one's going to look good. Whether you're casual, whether you're dressing up, it doesn't make a difference. Now, the Gear Sport is going to be that type of watch as far as the design and the look is concerned for every day. I don't know if I would want to wear that going out on a daily basis. I mean, you could if you want to. But with me, it's all about image. It's all about looking good. So the rose gold is going to look a lot better. Even if I had the midnight black in that one, it's going to look good. Now, for the Galaxy watch active now again if you're going to be working out and you want something that's lightweight this one's it if you got a super small wrist like myself then maybe you want to get this one as well but all three are great choices again it depends on your preference now for the price the price of the Galaxy Watch Active comes in at $199 out the door which isn't a bad price for this smart watch now the gear sport I found on amazon.com for $192. I will leave a link for all three watches down below. Now, the Galaxy Watch Rose Gold is still coming in at like $299 on sale up to $349. All right, but I will leave a link in the description where you can go have a closer look. I see what I can find for you guys uh, so far as prices, great prices are concerned, and I'll leave them down below. All right, you all, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And if it was, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. And if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Take care.